Hey guys, welcome to the Awakening Vlog. This is our spring update. There has been a lot happening, a lot going on, and we can't wait to tell you about the things that God is doing in and through our ministry. January started like crazy, right there with altitude at the beginning of the year. Seth, Jordan, and the team did a phenomenal job representing the Awakening and connecting with teenagers and youth pastors from the Heartland Conference, New Horizons, the Great Plains, and all the regions of the Midwest that were a part of altitude. It was an awesome incredible event this month we had the opportunity to be a part of the packed west conference youth camp what a powerful impactful relevant time the Salvation Ministries director Anthony Holmes and the rest of the youth pastors did a great job of really making sure that the teenagers didn't just have a good time hanging out with each other but also they had a good time great time hanging out with God we can't wait to see the great great things that God will do through you all guys shout out to you you're awesome keep it up in California and right after this camp, uh, all the way across the map to Accelerant, from California to Gatlinburg, Tennessee, we're able to be a part of Accelerant. And like always, Bishop Greg and the rest of the Accelerant team, you guys do an awesome job of putting together an event that really does change lives. You were able to see, even this month in the Ex Experience Magazine, the testimony of a miracle that took place during Accelerant. And thank you, thank you for the opportunity for us to go in there with the entire Awakening team and just connect with youth pastors and youth leaders from the youth coast. We look forward to Accelerant every single year, and 2012 was no exception. Springtime is we had a nice little soccer match and challenge against Leland and check out the pictures. Um, yeah, be proud of your awakening team. We didn't let them win. Uh, we had a little help from our guys from the Redemption Conference, Sammy Pedraza and the rest of the crew. And <laughs> Sorry, Leland, uh, you need to come back in 2013 to see if you can get past the Awakening team. In February, we were able to be at Emmanuel College again, hosting Send Conference. It was a great, great time of, of God and just talking about missions and sharing the heart that God has for the nations. Um, ben West, Jonathan Shirey, the Kings, uh, Jessica, they did a great job sharing their heart and really pouring into the lives of the students. So always, Pastor Tracy, it was a pleasure to be with you at Emmanuel. We're looking forward to working soon with you. The rest of the faculty, staff, the SCM, just thank you. You guys are wonderful hosts and we are looking forward every year to being with you guys. I think that the highlight of our spring was the time that we were able to spend in Costa Rica at the National Youth Pastors Training. W what was this? Um, a group of youth pastors from the U.S. Uh, got together and, and agreed to go with me and Jessica and spend a week of their time in Costa Rica basically mentoring, encouraging, teaching, training, sharing resources, sharing experiences, sharing their heart, sharing love, and sharing compassion for youth in Costa Rica. It was the first event of this kind in this nation. And let me tell you something. Even right now, I am still in communication with the National Youth Pastor down there, and he's telling me of the big impact that this week had on their lives. So great. Greg, Amber, Stephen, Jonathan, Eduardo, Kathia, Sky, thank you so much for taking the time to come with us and just share your heart and pour out your love in the youth of Costa Rica and their leaders. As always, we were able to be a part of different events just in local churches and in the conference. For example, uh, we spent time with Withna PH in the Cornerstone Conference at their broadcast conference, and it was just a pleasure to share those four services with you guys. We really, really, really enjoy being a part of what God's doing them there. We were also at a service here in Northwest Christian Center in the Oklahoma City metro area and just different congregations. And let me tell you something. If you would like to have the Awakening Band or the Awakening Team or just myself and Jessica to come or perhaps all of us to come and have a service in your, com in your community or your congregation, don't hesitate. Just give us a call or shoot us an email and we'll love to be a part of what God's doing in your congregation. So a big component of what we do at the Awakening, just challenging students to engage in missions and actually get out there and do something great and crazy for Jesus Christ. And over spring break, uh, multiple students of Southwestern Christian University took on the challenge and traveled to Guatemala and hang out with Bishop Atilio Chavez, his beautiful family, and just different congregations in the outskirts of, of Guatemala and were able to do a great work for Christ. Uh, the, the very neat thing is that they didn't just go to the big city and, and just to the big churches. They actually went and served in, in those churches that may have thought they were forgotten, but Christ had them present. They painted congregations, they walked on their streets, sat down in their tables, just ate with the people. And wow, what a great time they had with 
just serving the community and learning more about themselves and who Christ is in their lives. It was a powerful time and let me tell you something, these guys will never be the same. I'm also just fresh in from South Africa. I had the privilege to be teaching in the final segment of Safari. Semester brought for Radical Impact. This program of War Missions um, just challenged people to go and live for a semester in South Africa and be taking classes in cross-cultural communication, in uh, urban ministry, muscle ministry, just a diversity of subjects that you will encounter if God calls you to serve in full-time missions. And what a great time. Maggie and Joe Delport, you guys are doing a phenomenal job leading this program. Students, thank you for your openness and thank you for really honestly pursuing God's calling for your life. And as you can imagine, yes, this is just some glimpses and, and just a couple of highlights of all the many things that God's doing in and through the Awakening. We've been working with the interns, with the Awakening Band, and with the different elements of this ministry that God has entrusted us. Uh, we believe that the best is definitely yet to come, and we're excited. We're looking forward to all the things coming up. For example, being a part of the Ignite Passion Tour that is coming up later this month, being a part of the multiple, multiple trips that are coming up this summer. So if you're coming with us, can't wait, holler, it's going to be awesome. Uh, being a part also of Equipment for Destiny at the New Horizons Conference, being a part of some of your summer camps that we're going to be going to, and also we can't wait till EuroQuest and Lamper Quest this summer. We know that this time is going to be unique, it's going to be amazing, it's going to be something fresh and new that God's bringing into our denomination, and we really honestly can't wait. Pray for it, believe with us for it, uh, our team is praying and fasting for it, and we know that God will do amazing things at EuroQuest and Lamper Quest this summer. And to you, our many supporters, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for believing in the awakening. Thank you for praying for us. Thank you for just pouring your finances into this ministry. It is vital. We don't take it for granted. We appreciate you and we appreciate what you are doing in and through this ministry.